Hey, welcome back to the Royal Word. So, no guests today. You just stuck with me. Um, anyway, before we get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, follow, uh, repost, do whatever you got to do. Help spread this content, help grow this community. Because you know what they say, collaboration over competition. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about what's your number. What is your number as in say, like, what is your retirement number? What is your number that says you can have your financial freedom? What is your freedom number? A lot of people don't really understand or a lot of people don't know how close their number is or how far their number is away. Um, So it's a big difference. So like, I always say it's easiest way to calculate your number is how much money do you need to live off of without that number decreasing so how i was told and how my financial advisor broke it down to me is like if you have this much money in investments it's going to grow at a certain percentage and you can live off that percentage so let's just think about all right easy numbers right um so the market average the average market growth is about eight percent per year in a normal index fund right over the long term over the long haul like right now it's not i mean right now we're just falling i mean it's it's, it's in a the market's in a bad place but overall like over a 20 year span on average the market grows about eight percent um so you you will want to live off four percent of that right because you don't want to live off the whole 8% because like I say, you, you go the up and downs in the variable. So if you live off 4% of that annual increase or that annual growth, you will be able to put 4% back into the market, the compound, and you'll be able to live off 4%. So like I say, I know my base number, my base number is 3 million. So 4% at an annual, at the annual rate is roughly about 10 grand per month, right? So I can live off 10 grand per month easily. Like they can pay my bills. They can help me do whatever I want to do. I mean, I can have all my hobbies. I can, I can live a great life off of 10 grand per month. You know, I can support my family. I can, you know, I have literally no stresses at 10 grand per month is a lot more than what I need. I mean, I probably only need about half of that if I really want to be bare minimum. So like you think about even bare minimum, so you think about 1.5 million, you know, you could live off 1.5 million for the rest of your life. You really could if you had really low expenses. So if you think about your number isn't that far away. One, I mean, most people will make a million dollars in their lifetime. Overall, I'm not saying people will hold a million dollars or people will save a million dollars, but people will probably make a million dollars. If you're making close to, you know, six figures, 100K, you know, 10 years, you probably make the average person works 30 years. So you, you, you're you going to touch a million eventually. Or, you know, people, you never know if people from life insurance or uh, trust fund babies may get to a million a lot faster i mean it's there i mean so like i say your number can be a lot closer than what you think it is it's just have you really thought about it and could you be suspicious with living off of that income or off of that gross so that's what a lot of people have to do when it comes to retirement time but most people don't start early enough when it comes to retirement and they wait until they're in their late 40s to start saving where by the time they're done they have three or four hundred thousand dollars saved away the interest of three or four hundred thousand dollars isn't going to do it you're looking at a couple thousand dollars per year most people can't live off a couple thousand dollars per year it just i mean it's, it's the way how how high food is right now how how gas is I mean, you can, I mean, most people couldn't pay a mortgage for a whole month. I mean, a whole year. I mean, most likely you probably couldn't do it for a month off a couple thousand dollars a year. I mean, so uh, it's great to invest and have assets. Like, um, I know my homeboy always preaches to me, you know, 
never buy liabilities, always buy your assets first and let your assets buy your liabilities. So you, you always keep your costs down low, which is very, very smart, but you really have to be disciplined and have to have the, the delayed gratification as you can't have your cake and eat it too that way, but it will definitely work out in the long run and it will help you out in the longer run and to establish that generational wealth you know your kids kids will not have to work as hard as you did or will have to have such delayed gratification but all in all it's is well worth it so uh, i challenge everybody to figure out what that number is and see how close or how far away you are from it and to make the proper changes to get to your number so people can live financially free and enjoy their life i mean life is short enjoy it you know there's no need to breaking your back every day like like you say nobody's ever came back to us and told us what heaven is like so better you better enjoy today and live today for today because you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring but be responsible with it don't do anything stupid never do stupid stuff so secondly what we're gonna get into is I know I've talked about this before, but honestly, but it's getting cold and things usually like holidays are coming up and stuff usually happens. So my thing is being aware of your surroundings. I just, I guess I just have to keep preaching on this because being aware and being observant of your surroundings can save your life and it can it can just help you become more alert and help not put you in sticky situations. Oh, well, I should have did this. I should have done that. Oh, I wish this never happened. Well, if you were just paying attention, it may not never happen. Or you may have you may get opportunities by paying attention. Like even if you're just playing word games, scavenger hunts and stuff like that, the person who pays more attention usually ends up doing the best and stuff like that. So just take time, pay attention to your surroundings, study, and try not to put yourself in compromised positions. But it's that's all in all, man. I hope everybody out here doing good, doing well. You know, fall is officially here. You know, the well is about to break. It, you know, it's getting a little cool in the morning, in the afternoon. Time to break out the fire pit. You know, crack the pumpkin beer, pumpkin spice season. So we'll see like you know hopefully your football team is doing well basketball right around the corner so yeah i hope everybody's enjoying their life um fancy football has started you know the kings are two and oh you know we play against the reigning champ this week so we'll see how that go and we'll keep everybody up to date i'll probably do like a probably mix two or three games I'll probably do an actual video on how everybody's doing, what the rankings are, you know, playoff predictions and stuff like that. And just know this fantasy football is for charity. $200 is going to the winner's charity of choice, along with a little gift pack that I'm going to put together with a nice trophy from the royal family to signify their win. Also, we are looking to do another community outreach thing with some kids. I'm working with a couple people right now to try to find, not try to find, I have found the group book. We're trying to find the right books to, do, to donate to a class um, to help them with their uh, reading and financial literacy and stuff like that to help start them young about thinking about finances and everything because one thing we all gonna do is pay taxes and you know we all will have to deal with money for the rest of our lives so just thinking about it earlier and becoming more familiar with it helps drive those conversations down the road and helps not let's be so dependent on other people like having some financial sense is uh, can help catapult a whole community very quickly so let's help change the narrative. So we're gonna try to do that. So the plan is to to get um, some nice uh, financial books for kids into the hands of some a class of students. And when they read them, they just write like a little 
couple sentences about what they enjoyed about the book, uh, if they liked the book, yes or no, and then we will reward them with some candy or some sort of treat, a pizza party or something like that, whatever me and the teacher decides. So I think that would be a way to give back this year to help the kids, you know, it's something that can hopefully, hopefully stick and take them years into the future, you know, help them get start get with them a leg up because the earlier you start that conversation the better i know with social media today it's all out there i mean i know i'm guilty of just looking at stuff that i know i can't afford but yet hoping and wishing but i like i said it's to help that saying oh i can't afford it but i will afford it because i have the tools to get me to where i need to be but all in all uh we out so Go check the site because without purchasing merch, I can't do things like this. You know, you know, I have the live as well. So uh, merch is definitely help funding all this stuff and for us to be able to give back. Um, so, yeah, check the site. Uh, check out the other podcast. Who's up? Follow, all, you know, my friends and stuff all over IG. We tag them in everything. So follow all of them follow all our previous guests because like i say there's plenty of stuff coming in the works from the the crew man so yeah we out y'all have a good one be easy stay warm mm -hmm.